What do you think is the kernel of value that contemporary residents can get from looking back and hearing about some of these early days in uh, modern psychiatry? Well, probably the principal gain for any psychiatrist, including a psychoanalyst, to have had experience with psychotic patients is to find out that they are essentially human and not that different. One then becomes accustomed to tuning in on ideas that the patient presents that sound bizarre, far-fetched, extreme, crazy, without getting all flustered and worked up. Uh, analysts who haven't had much experience like that sometimes break off the treatment because the patient is, quote, too sick to undergo psychoanalysis. Rather than viewing it as a kind of time that they'll get through and with a little support and not stressing the patient that things will move along. Uh, here again, Sullivan's theory of anxiety focused on anxiety not only in the patient but in the therapist and that the therapist's success in psychotherapy had to do with monitoring not only the patient's anxiety but his own anxiety. And uh, so one could see these things uh, ever more clearly in work with the patients. It's a, as though things that you work for years to get at in terms of uh, neurotic patients who are so covered over and defensive are there out in the open, unfortunately, for some people in the, working with a psychotic patient. So I, I think it's of immense importance in, uh, in terms of their being able to uh, sustain a treatment even though there are periods of regression and disorganization and a transient uh, brief psychotic kind of ideation and experience.